Hey, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to The Glad Life, Changing My Paradigm. An awesome, awesome week I'm having, and I'm so excited to be sharing it with you. So watch what's coming up. Let me know what you think in the comments. Make sure that if you haven't subscribed, you subscribe. And I'm just looking forward to changing my paradigm. Yeah, good morning, good morning, good morning. Consistency, consistency is the key. Woo. So I'm um, up again, got up at like uh, 4.20 this morning. Um, cause, cause I didn't get to bed almost till 11. Um, but it's cool. You know, I got like 20 minutes today. I, I want to get up at four so I can do everything. Uh, changing my paradigm. Wow. You know, that's what the week's, this week's video is about. Um, that means it changed, a shift in the pattern. You control that shift. I control that shift. And it's funny because I, I, I try to choose my titles before I even start recording. Um, and it's about stuff that I'm, I'm looking at, what I'm going through, and how it's relating to my journey. Tell you. So I had, I had texted to, to, to my um, editor, producer, the day yesterday. What the, what the next group, uh, the t next titles are going to be. So I'm like, okay. And you know, I don't even think about it. But there's a reason why they come to me. So last night, you know, I was, I was on my way home. I stopped at my P.O. box, pick up my mail. Driving, dick the brain, sees, sees an addict. It's just like, and you know, I love, I love, uh, so I listen to a lot of Christian hip hop. Uh, Lecrae, All I Need Is You. And he talks about God, talks to God, you know, when they're dressing less and I be want to show off a stunt. So I'm driving, I can tell this guy's, you know, he's an addict, homeless. No shirt on, body. And I look, I look, ooh, how <laughs> they stop, Cedric. And so I go up here with box and I come back. And as I'm driving back, I stop. What's my intention? Those are the things I start to look at. So um, if I get cash chips, I'll put them to the side because I actually try to give them to homeless people. So I stopped. I was like, hey, buddy, here, here you go. You need some water? I keep water in my car as well. Oh, yeah, please. So I gave us a water, so we had a chat. You know? He'd been sober for a while, and he relapsed, and it got worse. And I was like, man, yeah. And I showed him my tattoo. You know, I don't follow it. I'm not in the AA. I believe in what AA stands for. No alcohol, no drugs, no nothing. And he's like, good on you. I said, yeah, you know, I'm trying to change. You could be a temptation. And he was like, yeah, I don't want to be that person. I said, nah, I says, I'm making that choice. I don't want to go backwards anymore. So, you know, I just wanted to stop and bless you with something. And, you know, God bless. And I hope you have a good night. Got my car and drove off. As much as... There's a side of me that's just like, I don't think I was even said, I was like, ooh. Part of me is like, ooh, let's go get wild. I was like, nah, I don't want that life. I don't. I, I really don't. That's the thing. Change of the paradigm. A shift in my patterns. In the book of A Seat to Your Soul, it says, every time you make a conscious choice to live by your soul, this is from an addiction per perspective, you pull back that power. I said no, and I walked away, and I pulled back some of my power for that addiction. A change in the paradigm. All right, upstairs, get ready. Yo, yo, boop, peace. Changing my paradigm. Changing my paradigm is just a shift in the pattern of what you've done in the past. Changing my paradigm means that I am no longer going to do the things that I did that led me 
to where I was. A change in my paradigm is a new me. It's a new walk in my path. It's walking in the line where I need to go and making sure the patterns that I am doing are the right ones. Going along this journey has woken me up and made me so strong. It's made me feel so good, so happy that changing my paradigm is giving me a new lease of life. I mean, I'm walking, being able to redirect my brain and doing things that I may have done in the past that no longer serve me. Changing my paradigm is making sure that I am listening to what God has for me and what the universe is sending me to make sure that I can actually get there because now I can see. Changing my paradigm is making sure that the old me is left in the past. And the new me is what is sitting here in front of you. Changing my paradigm makes sure that I know how to make conscious choices. Choices that are going to open the right doors and not make me feel bad about myself. I'm heading in a direction that I know that I am supposed to be going. I just had to change my paradigm. I just shift those patterns just slightly. It's like an earthquake rocked me and woke me up and now I know what I need to do. Changing my paradigm is something that has been trying to happen for so long, but every time it gives that a little shift, it knocked me back, but no more. No more, no more. Changing my paradigm is me now. Seeing the light, shining the light, and being the light that I know that I want. I want this to come out of me. I want to get to that place. I want to inspire. I want to help people get to where they want to get to. But right now, I'm working on me. So in order for me to do that, I had to change my paradigm. I shifted the belief in my mindset. So many times, they have you thinking that you can't do it. Oh, you need to be with someone. You need, you need someone to carry you. No, I don't. I can do this. Not saying that I don't need people along the way to help me, but guess what? It starts here. It starts with the belief inside of me, making sure that I can do what I need. Changing my paradigm has been a long time coming. And I'm so happy that I finally am doing it. I'm able to see someone out there and know that's not good for me. Let me walk this way. That's changing my paradigm. Not allowing things to happen. Making sure that I know that I can play that tape forward. I can play it fully and know that it serves me no purpose. Changing my paradigm is what I needed to help me get to that next step. And all I can do now is keep walking with those new patterns because those new patterns is what's going to get me to my glad life. Hey, what's up guys? I am here with some amazing friends of mine. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> These are, so um, I don't know if I mentioned uh, my previous job for those who know me, um, I used to work for a company called Machine. I'm a part of the Warner Brothers family. This here was my boss. Hello. <laughs> and this is Carolina. Carolina and I started, what, like a month apart? Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Days, I guess. Yeah, days. So they were like my, my traveling partners, my buddies, and we've done so much. And, you know, she's flown in from Hawaii. So Scott connected all of us so we can actually come down, have some lunch, and just spend the afternoon together. And as you know, I love the beach. Look at the beach back there. It's been amazing. Um, yeah. So um, just a little bit of the history. Like this guy has been so supportive, and so has she, during my addiction, uh, my struggles, um, that to the extent that they've always supported me, allowed me to take time off work, took me into their home. Gave me a place to sit. <laughs> I'll never forget that. Uh, found me sitting in a closet when I was uh, in a really deep psychosis. So I have amazing friends 
um, that have always loved me. And I'm, I, I, one thing I've always said that I'm very, very blessed that I do have people who support me um, and have been always helping me. So we're here just having some fun today. What sort of words would you want to say or you know, advice you would actually give me? Uh, Carolina is also a life coach. Oh. <laughs> um, I am so grateful. It's good to reconnect. Mm -hmm. It feels like we ne we were never away from each other. I know. It does. Right? I know. I know. Yeah. We traveled all over Boston, Seattle, um, so many different places, so many different events, mm, parties. Yeah, lots yeah. of events. <laughs> but these are like these are my extended family. That's what I actually have, and it's just so nice to catch up with you guys. I want you guys to know that I love you. Well, we love you so much. Uh, <laughs> so these are part of the people who helped me get to my Glad Life based on my channel, and I think they were there when the Glad Life was created oh, originally, that's wasn't right. it? We so, were. So these are here, and so it's nice to catch up with them. And I just wanted to, to give you guys just a glimpse of not just when I'm working out, but when I'm doing other things and, you know, hanging out with my friends and everything that's leading me to the glad life. All right? Amazing. All right, yes. bye. bye hey, yo. So good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, today is Saturday, and... Um, I'm on, I'm on my grind still, up uh, about 420, out the door, I've already done my exercises, and um, I'm actually working my way to get back to what I used to run, so I'm almost, I'm about, I run a mile, but I stop uh, in between, uh, probably about after a half, a little over a half mile stop, uh, and then once I complete this mile, I'll run that for about another week and then um, I'll increase it to, slowly increase it to two miles because my goal is to get to, <sighs> I almost don't want to say it because I'm going to hold myself accountable, <laughs> five miles, that's my goal. Most I've ever run consistently is three. So I'm going to try to get myself up to five. No, I am going to get myself up to five. That's part of changing my paradigm is what I say is what I speak it into existence and I'm holding myself accountable. Yesterday, you know, I met up with some friends. Uh, I had, I had uh, a late lunch and a late lunch turned into us just, you know, walking along um, the, the sea, the, the Santa Monica. Didn't go onto the beach, but just walked right along at the top of it, sat and talked and it was just an amazing experience. Um, we talked a lot about uh, our spiritual practices. Um, um, one of my friends, uh, she has already done some of the processes that I'm actually working on. And I didn't even know she did it. She actually went to the workshop for Joe Dispenza and I, I'm actually doing it at home. Um, and it was, it was great, you know, and a change in the paradigm is doing things that are going to feed my soul. So yesterday, yeah, of course, you know, it was supposed to be a late lunch and I thought, oh, in my head, initially I was like, I'll, I'll, I'll go for a couple of hours and I'm going to jump back on, I'm going to work, because I'm, I'm not working next week. I thought, you know what, Cedric, you don't see them off, you haven't seen her in a minute, uh, you haven't, haven't spent any time with, with uh, Scott for, since the pandemic, um, so spend time with people. That's what's important. That experience, that beautiful experience was important. So a change in my shift pattern, it's actually getting back to who I am. It's not just focusing on money. Because whenever I focus just on money, I never end up happy, ever. I know we all are like, yo, go for that money, go for that money. Yeah, money's great. And you know, I've made, made a, a fair amount. <laughs> and but it's never made me completely happy. Oh my God. I keep looking at it, you can't see it now. It's like a huge ass beetle. Oh my God, it's like this big. <laughs> That's why I keep walking, it, it walked right to me, almost. So a change in my paradigm is, a sh <laughs> I keep looking down because it's getting closer. I don't think you can see it. You can't see it, there. Can you see it? That's huge, <laughs> huge. Uh, changing my paradigm 
It's just a shift in pattern of traits that, you know, patterns that I'm no longer going to do and all I'm going to do is do the patterns that benefit me, benefit my soul. So that's where I am right now and it feels, feels fucking awesome. <laughs> I don't swear I'm ready on only, but yo, I did. <laughs> so anyway, it's time to get up there. Uh, I gotta, gotta do some maintenance to my car today um, and getting some mammies and patties because uh, I'm heading to a wedding next week, for next week, so. All right, base. What up, what up, what up? Yo, what's up? Happy, 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 happy Monday. Yo, 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 yo. So, um, yeah, it's bright outside, look. Uh. Oh, man, so man. I, um, yeah, so last night I worked. I worked until I, I didn't get into my house. I just looked at my messages. I sent my friend a message when I work late just because she checks in on me to make sure, you know, I put these little procedures in place to help. Sometimes I get irritated, but they're there to help me. Um, so I just checked 115. Uh, actually, the exact time was 113. Uh, so that's what time I actually walked into my apartment last night. Um, and I literally just stripped. Um, went to sleep. Yeah, for the most part. And um, so, 113, man, I'd like to get up at four, but three hours just wasn't going to hit it. Because also, the night before, I got in super late and only had like five or six hours sleep. So, I got, I think it was about six, 6.05 this morning. So, uh, almost five hours of sleep, which I can, I can function. Um, I can do that a few times a week, uh, but the importance for me is, you know, staying on my grind. A shift in a paradigm, a shift in my patterns. My patterns is regardless, I got to stay focused. I'm not going to let anything come in between me and what my goal is. That is my shift. That's what's been happening now. I'm increasing my focus. Uh, so last night on my way home, you know, and you know, I've shared, I don't like working late, but I am flying out tomorrow um, to Ohio. Uh, so since I work for myself, I need to work hard just to make sure, you know, um, to cover any lost wages that I'm going to, to have, because I'm gonna be gone for the next uh, six days. So I basically won't be working for almost a week. So, in Inglewood last night, and I, I took a little break, probably about 10.30. Um, I started late, I didn't even start working until about three. But I took a break, 10.30, ate some food, got back and I thought, okay, I'm good. And then about, it's probably about 11.30, almost 12 o'clock, I started feeling my body. And I was actually talking with a passenger about it as well that um, I'll never drive passengers if I start to feel tired because I never want to put them at risk. So yeah, I just started feeling it. Started feeling tired. And the first time I started feeling tired, I noticed my mind. Because when I started feeling tired, I'm like, okay, I need to go home and boop. Hmm. So, and I clocked it. I was like, oh, okay, I see you. I see what you're doing. I say I'm tired. That means I'm not about to go home. Now you're trying to say, well, you don't really want to go home by yourself, do you? Hmm. So um, part of the meditation that I'm doing, it says, you know, observing your thoughts, being conscious. So I'm like, okay. And I shouted out in the car. I was like, change, change my mindset. I'm, like, I'm not letting this happen. So I was like, okay, yeah, let me set direction to go home. And the, the tiredness increased. So I took another one past there, one more. I was like, nah, I'm switching this off. I'm going home. Switched it off and it hit me hard because it was 12.30 at night, freaks are out at night, the crazies, the people out on drugs. And of course my mindset was like, damn. But I think about everything I'm gonna lose. The time that I put in, my mind. Um, loss of faith in myself. And so I was like, 
you're going home, Cedric. Yeah, it, it, you know, it, it played with me a little bit. I also put on um, the free, the seat of your soul when I got on the freeway. Um, really talked about addiction, just put it on the addiction section because that really helps me. It really does. I made it home. I thank God as soon as I got home. I was like, thank you, God, for letting me have that strength. I say this to people who are in the A and stuff because, you know, people say, you know, you need to pick the phone up. And for me, here's how it starts. If I can pick that phone up, I'm the type of person that doesn't want people to tell me what to do. So if I can pick that phone up, that means that I can tell myself, you're not going to use. That's where it starts for me. I told myself, I'm not going to use. And I drove myself home. Changing my shift patterns, changing the pattern up. Deuce. Hey guys, thank you for taking the time and watching my videos. I really, really, really appreciate that. If you like what you saw and you wanna you know, be notified of more videos when I release them and they will be coming up regularly, please subscribe at the link below. All right, thank you and I'm hoping that you join the Glad Life.